Hi, it's Rob from the Brush and Balkan. Today I'm going to be doing a short tutorial on how to paint a Primaris Space Marine Librarian. Okay, so we've got the Primaris Librarian. He's actually been base coated, kind of roughly while he was on the sprue, uh, using Citadel McCrag Blue, put in a spray. And his cloak has also been roughly base coated with Avalanche Sunset. Now because of the yellow, I'm just going to go over that now and give it another coat of Avalanche Sunset, just to get it a smooth colour. The reason I'm doing this yellow, rather than the bone type colour that he is in the official model's pictures it's just because I wanted them to tie in with the Lamenters a little bit more so that they've all got that kind of colour which bonds them all together. Now I'm going to do it slightly different to the armour so that the cloth yellow looks different from the armour yellow of the Lamenters but you'll see that as we progress. When we come back we'll have all of this yellow done. The next colour that we're going to use is Citadel Mephiston Red. When we come back, we'll have all of the fist on red finished. Now we're going to use Vallejo Black. That's just to do all the tubing between the armour plates. When we come back, we'll have all of the black finished. Now we're moving on to Citadel Rakarth Flesh. This is just going to be to do all the scrolls and the parchments and the pages in the book. When we come back, we'll have all the Rakar flesh finished. Next colour that we're using is Citadel Thousand Suns Blue. It's to do his sword, his eyes, and some of the smaller details. When we come back, we'll have all the Thousand Suns Blue finished. Next we're using Citadel Retributor Armour. This is to do a lot of the details on him, like the grip of his sword, the aquilas, the horned skulls, and a few other little details. When we come back, we'll have all the Retributor armour finished. Next colour that we're going to use is Vallejo Model Air Silver. Now you can use the Chrome, but my Chrome's running low, so I'm using a slightly different colour. I was just changing brushes there because my small layer brush point's well and truly gone now. So I've gone back to using a medium layer brush, like a brand new one, just to get the point on there. When we come back, we'll have all the Model Air Silver finished. Next we're just going to be using a little bit of Citadel Wasdaka Red. That's just to paint the cover of the book on his belt. When 
like so. Now we're just going to do part of his belt, and to do that we're going to use Vallejo Beige Brown. Like so. Now I want the blue on the model to be quite dark, so what we're going to do is we're going to use Citadel Null Oil to shade him and then build the blue up from there. And that should give it a nice dark base to start on. Again, because of the yellow, I'm being very careful with the Null Oil because I want to repaint yellow over this darker colour. When we come back, we'll have all of the Null Oil finished. Now we're going to be using Citadel Agrax Earthshade, just on the leather belt and on the gold areas. When we come back, we'll have all the Agrax Earthshade finished. Now we're moving on to his cloak. With that, we're going to be using Citadel Cassandora Yellow to give that a good shade. It's not too dark. I'm going to try and keep this as close to the recesses as possible so that we don't have to go back and repaint over the whole thing. When we come back, we'll have all the Cassandora yellow finished. Next colour is Citadel Seraphim Sepia. So, now we're moving on to Citadel Drucci Violet, and it's just going to be to go over all the red. When we come back, we'll have all of the Drucci Violet finished. The final shade that we're using is Citadel Drachenhof Nightshade, and that's just going to be to do a few of the details on his sword, his eye lenses, and the little blue section on his helm there. Like so. With the shades out of the way, we're now going to start building up his armour. So we're going to start reapplying some Cantor Blue, being sure to leave some of the Null Oil within the recesses. When we come back, we'll have all the Cantor Blue finished. Now we've just added some white to the Cantor Blue, we're just going to give his armour the first highlight. As usual, we're just trying to keep the highlights to the areas that would catch the light, so if the light's shining down from above, we're trying to get those kind of areas. When we come back, we'll have all of this highlight finished. 
Now I've just added a little bit more white to that previous mix of Cantor blue and white. We're just going to do the final highlight on his armour. It's just going to be on the very highest part that catching the light. In the case of like the groin armour, it's going to be highlighted lower down. When we come back, we'll have all this highlight finished. With the armour highlighted, we're now going to move on to his cloak. And for that we're going to be using Citadel Uriel Yellow. We're going to use this on the cloak and the tubes. When we come back, I'll have all this layer finished. Okay, so we've got his cloak painted, with the first layer, which is the Uriel yellow. Now I've just added a little bit of white to that mix, and we're just going to highlight his cloak. You can also see that I've painted the tubing as well, that's just had a Uriel yellow applied to it as well. I'm going to go a different way there, so that that yellow doesn't look the same as the cloak yellow. When we come back, I'll have all this highlight finished. Okay, now although the light is pretty bright, you can see the highlights on that, where the yellow looks a bit what lighter and creamier. Now I've just added a little bit more white to the mix. We're just going to do one final highlight on the yellow. When we come back, we'll have all this highlight finished. Now to make the yellow tubing stand out, we're going to be using Citadel Flash Kits Yellow, which is a lot brighter and should hopefully make it look quite a bit different to the cloak. Okay, the next colour that we're going to use is Citadel Mephiston Red. And it's just going to need to do the inside of his cape. When we come back, we'll have all of fist on Red finished. Now we've just added some Fire Dragon Bright to the fist on Red. We're just going to highlight the red we've just done on the inside of his cloak. Like so. Now we're using Citadel Wasdaka Red. I'm going to use that for the purity seals and the book. We come back, we'll have all the Wasdaka Red finished. Now I've just added a little bit of white to the Wasdaka Red, and we're just going to do a few little highlights on the Purity Seals.
like so. Next we're returning to Rackarth Flesh, and that's just do all the parchments and all the scrolls. When we come back, we'll have all the Rakarth flesh finished. I've just added a little bit of white to the Rakarth flesh. We're just going to highlight the purity seals. When we come back, we'll have all these highlights finished. Now we're going to work on the gold. We're going to start by reapplying some Retributor armour, making sure that we leave some of the Agrax Earth shade in the recesses. When we come back, we'll have all the Retributor armour finished. Now we're just going to move on and use a little bit of Liberator Gold from Citadel. This do highlights on the gold that we've just put down. And when we come back, we'll have all the Liberator Gold finished. Now we've added just a little bit of Vallejo Model Air Chrome to the Liberator Gold. And we're just going to do a final highlight on the gold. When we come back, we'll have all this layer finished. Now we're going to be using Thousand Suns Blue again. I'm just going to do his eyes and that little section in the centre of his head there. Like so. Now we're going to add a little bit of white to the Thousand Sun Blue. Like so. Now we're just going to add a final little bit of white to that previous mix, so we've got a lighter highlight. And then finally, we're going to use some pure white just to finish off his lenses with one little reflection. Like so. Now we're just going to work on his fourth sword. So we're going to use Thousand Sun Blue again and just go around where we shaded earlier on. Like so. 
Now we're going to start working on the lighting on the four sword. The way you do this is do opposite sections. So if you're having this top part light, you do the bottom part dark. I just make them overlap slightly on the first lighter shade, and the reason for that will become apparent a little bit later. For now, we just want to get all these segments and continue them going down the blade. So you can see that it's almost like a little chevron effect. When we come back, we'll have all this highlight done. I've just added a little bit more white to that mix. I'm just going to do the next layer of highlights on the four sword. Done the opposite colours on the underside. So it's the top it again. The reason to do this is it just keeps it a little bit more uniform. It makes it easier if you want to match up the colours as well. So you can see where this bit goes to the top. Straight the line goes straight over the top there and back down the other side. I'll just finish putting this layer on. When we come back, we'll have it all finished. Now we've just added more white to the mix. And we're going to do the next layer of highlights. So again, you just move in slightly further in from the last one. And when we come back, we'll have this layer finished. Now we've added more white to the mix. I'm just going to do another highlight to it. When we come back we'll have all this mix finished. Now again we've added more white to the mix, it's probably going to be the final layer before we just add pure white. Like so. Now we're just going to use pure white to do the final layer. Like so. Now that we've got most of the base layers done, I'm going to use some Drachenhof Nightshade to darken up the bits that we haven't highlighted. When we come back, I'll have all of the Drachenhof Nightshade finished. Now with the colours finished on the blade, the final thing that you use 
is scissor old glass varnish and just give the whole blade a coat of that. Try and avoid the pattern on it at the moment because we'll be coming to paint that in a sec. Like so. Next we're going to paint the pattern on his sword. And for that we're going to use Citadel Avalon Sunset. It's going to touch up this wire on his head while we're here. Make that a bit brighter. When we come back, we'll have all the Avalon Sunset finished. Okay, so while we're off camera there, I've just done a few little details on his helm here and on the back. That is to do use Vallejo Chrome on these parts and these parts here. And then I use Mephisto on red and Avalon Sunset on the wires. Now all we're going to do is use a little bit of Vallejo Black. And we're going to use that to do the top part of his helm. And then we're going to work on the scrolling as well. I'm going to change brushes and use the Army Painter Wargamer character brush just to do the scrolls. When we come back, I've all this black finished. Now you can see on his purity seals there, on the back and on the side we've done all the little scroll work on that. We've also done the cables on his arms, put the chevrons on them, and we've done chevrons on the cables on his helmet as well. All we're going to do now is work on his shoulder pad. Now being lamenters, this unfortunately means that we're going to have to paint it white, so it may take a couple of layers to get it smooth. If it does, just keep going until you're happy with it, then we can start working on the checkers. When we come back, we'll have all this white finished. Okay, so now we're going to be working on black. And we're going to be doing that on his shoulder pad. Now, the light's pretty naff because I've moved it back because it was glaring too much. Um, that's just so you can see the checks that have drawn onto his shoulder there. And the circle in the middle, which as you can see is a bit wonky on this side. But I'm going to pick that up when I'm painting. So what we're going to do is use Vallejo Black to start filling in the checks. When we come back, we'll have all of these checks finished. Now I've used black to do the checkers there. I've used white to smooth down a few small areas. There's a few little bits that need just smoothing out on the lines, like maybe a little bit here and here, but nothing too major. I'll go back and do them once I've finished the video. The main other thing that I've done is I've painted this part at the back with just plain black. And all we're going to do now is use a little bit of Vallejo German Grey to give that a bit of a highlight. Now I'm just going to use a tiny spot of Vallejo Model Air Chrome just to do the two little studs on the back here. Like so. And the final thing that we're going to do for the whole model is use a little bit of Citadel Mephisto on Red to do the heart and the blood drip on his shoulder pad. And the blood drip goes around here.
like so. Now the only part that I haven't done is the scroll work here and the scroll work here, and that's because I haven't worked out what I'm putting on them. But other than those, I'm calling this guy finished. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also think about subscribing to some of our other social media, link below. Thanks very much.